Yo guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today I'm going to show you guys how to get easy kills on zombies that are affected by your tacticals in Black Ops 6 Zombies. But quickly, before we do get into today's video guys, if you are new around here, be sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications to turn on any more videos on the channel. If you do enjoy it, smash thumbs up and let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. And if you've got any more questions, feel free to ask me there as well. But let's jump straight into it right now. Okay guys, if you are on the zombies camera grind, you will come across a couple of weapons that will tell you to kill 100 enemies affected by your tactical equipment with said weapon. So what we're going to do is of course go into the game with the weapon that we want to be using, and then we are of course going to come to our class. When it comes to our tacticals, all of these will work guys, it doesn't matter what you're using. Obviously the Kazmir isn't great because it's going to suck all the zombies in, so we want to try and avoid that. Smokes are going to make it a little bit more difficult to do, so you want to try and avoid smokes. But if you run concussions, decoys, or shock charges, these are all going to work guys. Obviously stims aren't going to affect your enemies at all so concussions decoys or shocks are going to be the best bet to do this and then we simply need to do guys depending what one you were using let's say you're using the concussion you want to get a big train of zombies try and train up all the zombies from that one round get them all in one big area throw the concussion down basically where you're stood so by the time the zombies get there that's going to concuss the majority of them and i'm also going to show you how to do this in the game in a minute as well but just train them up throw that at them try and get as many kills as you can whilst they are all concussed you then of course got decoys with decoy grenades what you want to do guys is just throw them on the floor once you see all the zombies around the decoy that's when you want to start taking them out but with decoys you need to be a little bit smart with what you're doing because of course you're not going to get them all around that decoy before they are taken out the game but also bear in mind they don't need to be stood totally still while using a decoy as long as they're running towards it that is going to count as them being distracted by your decoy therefore it is going to count towards the camo progress and then of course the shock charge you just throw it at the floor in the group of zombies they're all going to get stunned and shocked you take them out the game whilst they are doing that and that is going to be the best way of doing it but now let me jump into a game and show you exactly how to do this in game Okay guys, so when it comes to the game mode that you want to be playing, I highly recommend you jump into the directed version, solo, of Liberty Falls. And the reason for this is, the zombies are going to be really weak to get taken out of the game. So you only have to have your weapon up to a certain rarity to be able to one-shot all the zombies, which means you can take all of the zombies out that are affected by your tactical in one go. Whereas if you play the normal game, the zombies will be much higher health. You're only going to be able to take out a portion of them affected by your tactical, making it a little bit slower to progress through this. So load into a game of directed in Liberty Falls, and I'll show you exactly what you want to do once you're in it. Okay, guys, so I am currently on Liberty Falls, and I am at round 11. I've got my round capped at round 11, simply because with a tier 3 pack-a-punch weapon, or even a tier 2 pack-a-punch weapon, with it up to a decent rarity, you are going to do so much damage to the zombies that are near you. Like, you can quite easily one-shot the zombies, if I do just show you. We are just one-shot headshot, and I'm using the Jackal PDW SMG as well, which shows you just how powerful the weapons are, which is why I recommend doing this, because you can just get your weapon rarity up to the very, very maximum, can quite easily take out the whole horde of zombies with just a few bullets, so what we're going to do, guys, is just train up all of the zombies. This is one of my favorite areas to train in Liberty Falls. You can just sort of run around here. You can come down this way. And then depending on what one you've got, like I said, if you've got a concussion, you want to sort of throw it in front of you or off that bus or something so that it rebounds into them, taking all of them out. Decoys you can just throw anywhere. And then shock charges you would just throw directly into the massive horde. So it looks like we've got nearly the majority of the zombies out and about now. So let me get this decoy grenade and we're going to throw it down in the middle. So all of a sudden, all of them start going there. And as you can see, we've got all these enemy distracted coming up. So we're now just going to fire our whole magazine into the zombies whilst that decoy grenade is there. And that is now going to get us so many towards that objective or so many towards that camo, which is going to be absolutely amazing. As you can see, there you go. Get 100 kills on decoys on your zombie opponent. So it's going to be very, very easy to get done, guys. That is the way that I recommend doing it. Like I said, you want to do it in directed simply because you can just keep upgrading your weapon. And you only need to get to around about round 11. You're going to get a whole bunch of zombies spawned in. You can quite easily get to tier 3 pack a bunch with all the, the like, legendary rarity in just one round. It's very, very easy to get done. So hopefully today's video has helped you out, guys. If it has, please be sure to smash thumbs up. It does help me out way more than you can ever imagine. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below if you are going to be doing it. If you've got any more questions, feel free to let me know in the comments as well. But I appreciate you guys watching. It always tend to be an amazing rest of your day. And I'll catch you in the next one in a bit. Peace.